This is the mounting bracket for my electric fan. It's a really nice piece. It's made well. It's made out of heavy gauge aluminum and it does a great job. This is the mounting bracket for my overflow bottle. It's also made out of aluminum and does a great job. The only problem with these pieces that I see is they don't have enough holes in them. So we're going to put holes in them to make them lighter because when you make something lighter, you make it better. And if you think about it, holes really are the unsung heroes of our hobby. So in this video, our goal today is to make holes great again. using any pressure. I'm just letting the drill bit do the work. It just gives the holes a little cleaner appearance and I'll take some fine grit paper and a sanding block and I will finish deburring this and cleaning this up a little bit. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm just going to lay out uh, where my holes are going to be on here. Another thing is I prefer to use a pen so the pen always works really good for this. And I made all my lines on here nice and even across. So I just lay out my holes and then I go ahead and start drilling out my holes. This is um, something I picked up at the craft store. It just has a bunch of different size holes in it for laying out things. It works awesome. Start drilling. Okay, issue I was running into on this hole is if you see that nut cert right there that's inside of there, the bit, the if I went would have went down any further, would have hit that. So I have a cure for that. I'll I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, you're gonna notice. Some of my drill bits, I've cut the tips of them off. The reason for that is if I want to make a large, if I need to make a larger hole as I'm going, but it's a shallow space like in here, if I have an obstacle like that nut cert, cutting them off allows me to go to a larger hole, but without plunging down too far and, and hitting, uh, you know, the piece below or, you know, anything like that. So that's why you'll notice some of my drill bits have the ends cut off. See, I kind of nicked the nut cert a little bit, but you're not going to see that. This is actually, part is actually going to be like that, so you will not even see that. But that's why I cut those drill bits down to avoid that exact thing. I'm going to make my holes bigger, so I need to cut this down some more. This bracket's going to be the easiest out of the three to modify is... Really, all I have to do is just continue with their theme. I will enlarge all of these holes. So they'll be the same theme, larger holes, and then I'll put some holes along the edge here, and that'll be it for that piece. This is a handful of free ET. Alright, I've drilled the first series of holes, which I forgot to tape. And I'm going to drill the last series of holes, and then the bracket lightning project will be done. Okay guys, we are just about done. The last uh, couple of things I want to do is these are kind of scratched up from being worked on and being handled. 
So I have a piece of 180 grit paper and it's just wrapped around a stir stick. And I want to sand these to get uh, some of the scratches out of them and to smooth them out. And then I will, uh, once I'm done sanding them, I will scotch bright them to, just to kind of even out the finish a little bit. And then after we're done scotch brighting them, we will clear coat them. And then the next time you see them, they'll be mounted on the car. And this project will be done. Here's the finished product. I got the brackets mounted back on the car. I think they turned out great. This is a project I've been wanting to do for quite a while. And I finally got around to getting it done. Didn't cost anything other than my time. I already had everything to do, the work, the step drill bits and everything. So I just had to get out in the garage and make it happen. And I couldn't be any happier with the results. These things look so much better like this. So we ended up removing about a quarter of a pound from the original Black Magic bracket. That may not sound like much, but when combined with all the other areas we're addressing under the hood, it'll add up. We're at the point in our weight reduction plan where ounces really matter. So we have some aggressive ideas about how to shed more unnecessary weight. Some of that may require the help of a machinist friend of mine. We'll show you more of that in upcoming videos. My name is Mitch. This is my 85 Mustang. And we'll see you next time.